by 17 points. Knight's pep talk was short on words and low on volume. He told the 13th rank Hoosiers they needed to do things a little better or they were going to get run out of the gym. It worked. IU by two. Two years ago, the Hoosiers found themselves trailing by one with time running out. Patterson goes up. But the excitement wasn't over yet. No one guarding Lewis. Guy trying to get open. He does. Stolen by Wright. Lila has got it. The shot is off the rim. Goaltending is called. Indiana has won the game. Expect more of the magic again tonight. IU Notre Dame next. In Notre Dame, Indiana, it's Indiana, 6-1, and one, ranked 16th in the country, to take on the Fighting Irish. They are 2-4, and four, just back from the Alaska trip. Hello, everybody. John Laskowski back home in the friendly confines of South Bend, along with Ted Kitchell. An important game for Indiana. They were 2-1 in Hawaii. They need to get back on the winning track. Yeah, they do need to get back on the winning track. And really, it's their first true road game. They played on neutral courts, but this is the first time they've got a home crowd rooting against them. We'll see how the young guys react. Let's talk about William Glad. It's a terrific game against Syracuse, 24 points, 10 rebounds. Good game against a very good team. Uh, Syracuse, a lot of really good, strong athletes inside. Did a nice job of coming up underneath the zone, working inside. Got a couple shots blocked early, didn't back off, continued to go right back in there. Just an outstanding game for a player that's improved tremendously over the last year. He'll go against Phil Hickey at 6'11", so Gladys will have to use his quickness to get around him. For Notre Dame, David Graves, just a freshman, got 29 points against Southern Utah. In fact, their forwards, both freshmen, score 45% of Notre Dame's points. Graves, very, very good shooter. Very smart player, not real athletic. Indiana will have to be in his face and not leave him alone all night. Now let's take a look at the fueling factors brought to you by Fast Max. If it's got to be fast, it's got to be Max. For Indiana, they must find A.J. Guyton. He had zero points against Syracuse, only six shots. He's the main focus of the offense, and he must create more shot opportunities. Offensive boards, Indiana small, must block out. Second shots equal big problems for Indiana. For Notre Dame, pride. Last big name team they played was Duke. They, they got buried by Duke. They're going to come out tonight to show the world that they can play against the big boys. And a good start. A young team needs a good start at home to boost not only the home crowd, but more importantly, their confidence. Lots of Indiana red here at the Joyce Center. The question to be answered, will Indiana find A.J. Guyton and his offense tonight? For the Sagamore starting lineups, brought to you by the Sagamore Health Network, caring, compassionate, and cost-effective. Bob Knight is 28th season at Indiana. Lynn Washington will get the start. We thought that uh, Kirk Haston may have gotten his first start tonight, but Washington will be there. We're sure that we will see him later. And for Notre Dame, take a look at Antonio Weish, Martin Inglesby. You see David Graves. David Graves coming off a big game, 29 points against Southern Utah. We'll be back with the opening tip. John McLeod is eighth season at Notre Dame. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. William Gladness will jump for Indiana. Phil Hickey, number 55. He's 6'11", 272. So he is a force to be reckoned with inside. Gladness will have his hands full tonight. There you see the series history. Indiana with the big lead. Although the last three games here at Notre Dame have really been close. And we're underway. Indiana starts in man-to-man, -man, as expected. Martin Inglesby is the point guard, 24. And Tony White is the shooting guard. And this is Murphy down low. Troy Murphy, 6'9", freshman. Graves is 34, moved to the hoop, and he gets it over Luke Recker. See, not a real quick move, but a very strong move. Very smart move, leaned in to Luke Recker, able to get the shot off. Notre Dame, man-to-man -man defense. 
right into the student body. They stand the entire game. Lynn Washington, a jumper from the baseline. Not a lot going on offensively, but uh, Notre Dame really laying back, especially on Washington, who hasn't shown that he can shoot that jump shot. We're tied at two. Side pass, Washington deflects that away. See Phil Hickey, a big, big body, as you mentioned last, 272 pounds. He'll be in there setting a lot of screens for Murphy and Graves. He comes up to the top of the key. They'll try to do a little high-low with Murphy down low. Notre Dame, not a team uh, that goes deep into the bench. They play only seven players. See if Indiana can cause some problems at the guards. That shot by Wright is good. And the Irish lead by two. Basically a man-to-man -man type team. They will go to zone. I'm sure after watching how Indiana played against Syracuse against the zone, I would, wouldn't be surprised if they have pro problems man-to-man -man that John McLeod doesn't jump in the zone very quick. Knighton on the move now trying to get around White. And the foul called on White. He tried to cut Guyton off the baseline. Those are the types of things A.J. Guyton needs to do for this Indiana team. You take a look at it coming at you. See Antonio Weiss got his hands on him. Then he tries bumps him right there with the knee. That's where Jody Sylvester felt like he got him. Called the foul. Inside to Washington. Good move on Murphy. He loses control and Murphy comes away with it. Indiana sometimes has problems inside handling the basketball after the move is made. Have problems handling it. Oh, good quickness by Washington. He comes up with a steal. This is where Indiana really needs to rush it up the floor before they can set up their defense. A.J. Guyton would probably create a lot more shots for himself if he would just race the ball up the floor just a little bit quicker. Spin move by five. He gets it to Washington, and the bank shot is good. Tough five. shot over Phil Hickey. He's a big man. He's got those hands up. Tied at four. Two minutes into the game. Nearly stolen by Guyton. Very good. Graves for open for three. He's a guy you can't give time to spot up. Obviously has a tremendous amount of confidence coming off that game, scoring 29. He got 29 against Southern Utah. He's two for two here tonight against Indiana. Wrecker, a shot against Graves. And the foul. That'll be a good matchup. Wrecker and Graves, both about 6'6. Six, six. Graves a little bulkier. Luke looks like he's just a little bit bit slimmer and uh, maybe just a little bit quicker. Wrecker will be at the line. He's averaging 15 and a half points a game for Indiana, the leading score. Important for Indiana to continue to get the ball inside, even though they don't have a tremendous amount of height inside. Continuing to get the ball in, inside creates problems and also gets, gets Indiana to the free throw line. Just off, Gladness tips it away, out of bounds to the Irish. Defensively, the matchup is Washington on Hickey. Gladness is on Murphy. Good pressure by Guyton on top. There's Hickey way outside, and the steal. Wrecker's got it, checks for the numbers. At home, he just took that one all over. Great bank shot. The pressure, Lynn Washington pressuring Hickey out front, making it very difficult for him to pass. Make that pass to the wing is the reason Indiana is able to create that turnover. See right here again, all up all over him. Hickey's going to start driving. When you have a defender playing you that tight, you got to drive him as Hickey did that time. One a little better shot. Hickey just knocked, knocked Fife down right there. He missed everything and maybe a little oh, frustration oh, there as he his first commits the foul. Let's take a look. See it right here. He runs in front of him. You can't see it from there. From our angle, you can see he gave him a pretty good shove with the forearm. Indiana ball out of bounds. There's the steal by Wrecker. See Indiana pulling Washington out on the floor, taking one of Notre Dame's big bodies. Murphy taking him out on the floor. Wrecker a three-pointer from the outside. Graves going to have to get out there quicker on Luke Wrecker. 10 to 7. Wrecker has six of Indiana's 10 points. Indiana trying to put a lot of pressure on the passer. Smart play by Murphy. When a defender is playing you that tight, no need to continue to try to stand there and pass the ball. You've got to dribble the ball, clear yourself, give yourself some room. Was Gladness on the foul? It's first. Good step out. Good step out by Gladness. 
Murphy with the shot. It's off, and Guyton has it. Indiana tries to break. All right here's where Guyton's got to take advantage. Use his quickness. Good hands by Whites right there, keeping him out of the middle. He got the ball up quicker. That's something that he needs to do for Indiana. Behind, Guyton is there, tipped away, but Wrecker tips it in. Good cut by Guyton. Indiana able to get the ball inside against Notre Dame, and that's created a lot of problems for Notre Dame so far. Notre Dame, not a real quick team. Pendlesby takes the shot outside, rolls around, and finally goes in. Great toe. That ball to fall back in the basket. 5 11, only six points a game for Inglesby. He's there to, to guide this team. Indiana on an 8 0 run to the last basket. Right there. Oh, five underneath, and his layup good. But William Gladness waited and waited on Fife to clear himself. Good job by William Gladness. A year ago, he wouldn't have had the patience. Good screen that time by Hickey, but Washington on the double team. Wrecker thought he had another steal right there. They're gonna get, they're gonna get Wrecker right there. Kind of grabbed Graves around the neck as Graves got ready to make the cut. Indiana off to the good start. They lead it by five. You are watching Big Ten basketball from ESP. See, good job by Gladness waiting. Murphy got to do a better job defensively seeing the cut behind him, but nice job by Indiana on the offensive end doing the type of things that Coach Knight has set up. Wrecker with eight points already. And Indiana leads it by five. And both teams shooting well. out of this turnover. Five on a delayed break back, back to Gladys. Now Indiana in the regular offense. See Washington and Gladys a little bit quicker than the Notre Dame's big people. It's a little long. Good rebound by Murphy. He outstretched Washington for that one. Very long arms. And deflected by Guyton there. Indiana in the passing lane. There's one that got through. There's the result, Murphy with the foul. Very, very good Murphy. inside, Murphy's got good footwork in. Inside, does a nice job, obviously lefty. Washington, he'll take that shot, it's off. Got to be a little quicker on that shot. Murphy, a lot of pressure on that shot that time. Now the steal, Washington steps right in front of Murphy. Notre Dame got to do a better job getting passing angles. Right now they're just trying to throw it in there as best they can. Oh, Guyton glides through the lane and goes over, hitting for the lane. Notre Dame with a 20-second timeout. A.J. Guyton just explodes to the basket. A good crossover dribble, gets into the middle. Indiana on the fast break now, the five-point lead. Take a look at Guyton's last play. Indiana off the turnover, gets the ball very quickly. Had the chance to pass, nobody able to get there. Easily could have got the three-point play, but nice job by Guyton getting to the hole. This 20-second timeout is brought to you by Spies. Let's look at the free throw chances for Indiana this year. They've made 104. Their opponents have attempted 100. So Indiana back on track that they were several years ago where they make more free throws than their opponent attempts. The team's going to have to start making some outside shots to open things up. They're trying to get the ball inside to Murphy. Hickey, who's now out of the game. Good pressure by Gladness right there. That ball's on the rim. Now, Jody Sylvester's sitting right on top of that one. That ball was rolling around the rim. They got a hand on it, and it'll go the other way. It's freshman Harold Swanigan, number 42, 6'8", 230. A nice fallaway jump shot by Murphy. You can see Swanigan right there, coming off a big game also, leading rebounder for the Irish. Michael Lewis and Kirk Haston both in for Indiana. There's Haston. Good play by Haston, not coming off and taking that shot. Just came, came in off the bench. You want to come in. And the pick, Lewis tried to get Wrecker open and gets called for the moving screen. And Wrecker was open. Guyton didn't see him. Yeah, Wrecker definitely was open. He was down there crying for the ball. 
right, in front, right in front of the, the, the down the Notre, Dame, you. the Notre Dame bench. He was open. I hate to see a turnover like that. Good defensive pressure by Indiana. The difference in this game early. There's Murphy inside and a foul. When Notre Dame's able to get the ball inside. They'll score. Indiana's got to keep it out. Gladys. He's getting two shots. See Gladys Haston comes over and he's come over right now, a little quicker, box him in. You can see he bumped him right there. Then they got Gladys. Guess he was going up to shoot. He called over the shoot. Planks the first one off the back of the rim. Good look at John McLeod. Okay, free throw, that's an easy shot. Come on, son. And just hit, read his mind right there. What a great guy in the cloud is. Several years in the pros, 18 in fact. And now back in the college ranks. Low pass to Haston, turn, jump shot. And that's going to be goaltending. That ball would have gone in, it looked like. And it's falling back in, and Glad just grabbed it. So tough. And your guy that you can get up there, he's nice pass inside good hands it's tough to see can't see it really from that angle but it looked like the ball was still in the cylinder travels be on the steps and guyton forced that turnover five turnovers now for notre dame Every key stat to watch is indiana forces those turnovers means their defense is playing well Wrecker, double team. And slapped away. Haston now double team. Bounces it off of Murphy. Good play by Haston. Forty-three. Skyler Owen, six-three junior. And Graves comes out. Very, very strong. They're big people. A lot of muscle inside. Lewis all the way to hoop. That shot blocked. Now the fast break. White is out and lays it in. Michael Lewis got all the way to the basket. Exactly what Indiana wants. Just was not able to finish the play. And that left no one back on the defensive end. Norton took advantage of it. Now a foul. And it's going to go against Notre Dame. As in Notre Dame is. Trim the lead to just three. You're watching Big Ten basketball from ESPN 1630. Michael Lewis, excellent job getting to the basket. Not able to finish. Got to get that one in. But Indiana not able to finish. White gets up the floor. Nice job of driving into Wrecker. Creates the easy layup for Notre Dame. And Rob Turner now in for Indiana. Oh, Indiana keeping their bonus of 40 to 39 percent. Notre Dame. 75% here early. A long pass, which Guyton recovers. So Rob Turner now in the lineup. Haston, Gladness, Lewis, and Guyton from Indiana. Rob Turner finally made a couple three point shots. White with the steal. Murphy the slam. Murphy nice stands up and looks at Kirk Haston. That pass is not there. He's looking at the offensive player, not the defense. Defense had that one snuffed out. Drive by Guyton on the baseline, steps out of bounds. Notre Dame ball. Take a look at Indiana on offense. You can see right here, he sees Gladness break open, but White, he's sitting right in there where he should be defensively. Murphy, long arms, good jumper. Nice finish. Now a one point game. Notre Dame a chance to take the lead. They go into Murphy. Double team by Haston. And the offensive rebound by Swanigan. Tip by Murphy. Got to get those guys. Notre Dame doing a nice job. They're big, strong people inside. You've got to do a better job getting, getting them off the board. And Notre Dame with the lead. Inside pass. Guyton, he somehow got it around Murphy for the basket. So he's doing, AJ Guyton doing a better job of starting to work the base. I think he's getting a better feel. Indiana knowing when he's going to break open down there along the baseline. 
Murphy on the drive. The ball tipped out. And Notre Dame comes away with it. Swanigan. Shot clock did not reset. Murphy traveled, got away with it. Swanigan off. And Gladness has it. Right here's where AJ continues not to push the ball. When he's got a three on two or three on three. Oh, uh, great reverse layup by AJ Dyke. He's been able to get loose under the basket. Lewis. Michael Lewis does a nice job of finding him. That's two times in a row Lewis has found A.J. Guyton along the baseline for layups. And we've mentioned before, when Guyton is in single digits, he usually responds with about 20 points. He's got six tonight. Trap set. And Haston recovers well. Offensive foul. Lewis took the charge. Flanagan just ran over him. Indiana really a nice job of recovering. They got... got got out of position. Let's take a look at A.J. Guyton on the other end. Good back screen right there. You can see Murphy. See how Murphy did not help down? It's really not Weich's fault. Murphy, only a freshman, he's got to help back. Your guy gets picked, you've got to help back in the middle. He's just standing right up there. You, Indiana's going to see that. We'll continue to have Murphy's man screen. Half of Indiana's points have come in the three-second lane. Fife is in again. Rob Turner, he thought about it. Now Haston takes good, it. Good shot there. Going to miss it, but still, good look for Indiana. That's the type of shot Coach Knight's looking for. Lead to Murphy. He's not afraid to take that shot. Easy rebound for Turner. There's Fife. Got to hit that. He was open. He does hit it. Sometimes that's the hardest one to hit. Everybody runs away from you. You think, man, I'm wide open. I got to hit this one. Five points now for five. 21 is Jimmy Dillon now in for Notre Dame. They're going to get five, number 11. They got him with the forearm. He's got the job on White now. His first, the team's fifth. Re entering from the Irish, 34. Graves back in for Notre Dame. There's White and five. Got a little battle there. White is a senior. Yeah, good matchup for Dane. Oh, he won't back off. Yeah, that's one thing you got to like about Fife. You don't have to worry. He's not going to back off. There's Hickey with the jump shot outside. Here's steal by Murphy. Out of bounds to Indiana. Given time, Hickey can stand and shoot the shot. Earlier in the game when Indiana had pressure on him, he had trouble with that, but he's a big body inside. He'll throw his weight around. Still slaps it out of bounds. From the Joyce Center, it's Indiana and Notre Dame. Indiana with the early lead. Now it's up to four. Both teams shooting well from the field. Again, the long pass out to Fife. Graves and Dennis in the game for Notre Dame. Gladness inside. It's not the shot you want. After you, after you fake and it's not there, well, reload, get it back out front. Dennis Carroll, 22 in the lineup. You mentioned Notre Dame does not go to their bench a lot, but they have in this first half. And inside, Murphy fighting for position. Continue to let Murphy get his position on the block. You have to fight him down low. He's very, very crafty down low. He's a nice job of positioning himself. He's very strong for only a freshman. Jared Odell in the lineup for Indiana. His first action tonight. Number 20, Leviticus Williamson. Now in for Notre Dame. Jared Odell played very, very well. Shot by Carroll is good. He only averages a point and a half a game. He's got two. 6'4 senior. But Odell from, from Oak Hill High School came in and Maui did a nice job doing it. Or Playing his role, setting screens, getting people open, stepping out, hitting the jump shot when it's available. Haston had the pass slip through his hands. Out of bounds. And the turnover's costly to Indiana. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. In a close contest, 7.47 left first half. And all the excitement of college basketball here at Notre Dame tonight. Notre Dame has to feel very good. Only down two. Coming off uh, a, a tournament in Alaska where they didn't 
get a lot out of themselves, especially when they played uh, you know, a team like Duke. You know, so there's a lot of pride on the line here tonight. They want to play well. It's up to the crew. Pressure by Lewis outside. Good step Holden. out. Good step out. Williamson open and misses. Wrecker pulls that one down and a foul on Graves. He threw Fife down on the checkout. Fife inside blocking out the much bigger Graves. His second, the team's Fife's a tough kid, huh? He ended up on the floor. Yeah, I don't think he minds that. He's, He's a just football player. Play he he right. likes to get in there and bang oh, people. Right. Wrecker, quick shot. Off. But a good shot. That's the one Indiana's looking for. Got one of the scores back in there. Luke Wrecker and Dyke, basically the two guys Indiana are looking to score with. Down low. Hickey. His foul going to the hoop. And Washington's going to get that foul. Paul's just getting into the lane too easy for Notre Dame. Indiana foul number one. He's got pressure out front. And once he gets to the wing, they're able to basically just throw it directly right down to the post. Phil Hickey shooting. Even if they don't score, they're gonna, they're gonna create problems. They're gonna start getting to the foul line with seven minutes left. It's the big bounce off the back of the rim. See, five season. You can see nice job of posting up by Luke Recker. Graves trying to get around him. Sometimes when you get caught behind, the best thing you can do is just hold your position. Work too hard try, trying to get around and uh, end up with a foul. That is three for Graves. He's Notre Dame's leading scorer. The rest of the half. AJ Guyton back. Recker at the line hits the free throw. He's got nine now on the night. There's a look at Graves. In and out, tipped away, Washington. So again, Notre Dame a chance to take the lead. Two times in a row, Luke Recker made the first of the free throws and missed on the second. Big points when you're on the road. Make those free throws. Five steps in, slaps it away. Another half step, he'd have had that one. He almost had that one. He was in the right place, so that's most important. Coach talked about positioning on defense. You gotta be in the right place. Geo Jared Ola doing a nice job of stepping out. Washington fights for that board. Murphy took it away and drew the foul. That's when Mardane will have the advantage. They're height inside. Height inside the reach. He's got some long arms, and when he sticks those arms up in the air, he and Hickey both very, very long reach. You can see Jared Odom gets, gets a body against Murphy, but then it just comes down. Everybody's on their on their toes. Murphy gets the longer reach able to come up with the basketball. opponent is Temple this Saturday at Bloomington. Penn State now with the lead in the second half. And UConn, the number one team, is leading as is Syracuse. In the Big Eight up in Chicago. And Murphy bounces that one around and in. Notre Dame with a one-point lead. Indiana's offense seems a little stale now. Not the good movement. And therefore not the good shots Indiana's looking for. Indiana didn't do a very good job of adjusting when A.J. Guyton went to the bench. When he and Luke Recker both were on the bench, Indiana became very stale. Not many options to score. Good job by Odell getting the ball back team. out. Got it to Recker, got the offensive rebound, but stepped on the out-of-bounds line. 
Hey, Notre Dame's playing aggressively. And a Big Ten score, Drake is defeating Iowa in the first half. Drake already beat Iowa at Iowa City the other evening, so uh, Iowa having some, some problems here early on in the season. And they will be Indiana's first Big Ten opponent, New Year's Eve at Iowa City. Five seconds. Jody Sylvester was counting it off. Closely guarded. A.J. Guyton stayed on Dillon. Eight turnovers for Notre Dame. John McLeod looks down the bench. Indiana able to get a, get a lot of shots early. You can see neither team handling the ball very well. 15 turnovers between the two teams. There's still almost six minutes left in the game. We're going to call traveling right there. Washington with that turnover. Gladness will be hit for Indiana. Inglesby checks back in for Notre Dame. And for the Hoosiers, number 30, William Gladness. And Gladness comes in for Washington. Turnovers hurting both teams. Jared Odell really needs to keep a body on Murphy. Murphy able to get inside, cause a lot of problems. That's a charge. Set up well as Wrecker was waiting on that one. He hit the deck pretty hard, still down. I think uh, yes and I know where he got, got that one. But you can see White, she's got to pull up. You can see that's, uh, that's going to be a charge. The official standing right behind him. Nice job by Luke Wrecker, who we know is not afraid to step in there and take that charge whenever it's available. He did that time and gives Indiana the ball. Five to Rex Travick on top. A little different alignment now for Indiana. They spread the floor. They'll be looking to get A.J. Guyton open down low. Oh, the drive to the hoop. Misses. Long way down to five. Good drive by Odell down the lane. Wasn't able to get the ball to fall, but uh, taking what's available. A.J. Guyton has to, has to understand who's Carroll is guarding. He has got to be able to get open and find shots. That's short. Wrecker three-pointer off. Gladness comes away with it. Finds Odell. Tough shot bounces off. Odell again. Can't get that one either. Notre Dame fast break. Good hustle by Jared Odell and William Gladness getting back down the floor. Odell really banging inside. Odell runs into five and Indiana nearly loses it. Now it's five again. Good hustle. Good hustle. Three-point shot. It didn't look very pretty. I'm sure Jared Odell was upset, but he dove after the ball, able to get it back in play, and Indiana able to hit the three. He stayed after it till Indiana could score. Clear out now for Inglesby. William Gladys doing an outstanding job on that step out. That is not an easy move for a big man. And a travel that time by Carroll. And the it's heating up, not just in the building, but on the floor. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. More towing power and torque than any truck in its class. The only line of full-size roomier super cabs that comes with four doors, standard. More repeat buyers than any other pickup. Outsells Chevy and every other truck in America. Ford F-Series. Need another reason? Now get low 4.9 financing and a lower monthly payment on a new 99 Ford F-150. 4.9 financing and a lower monthly payment. With all these reasons, you'd have to be living under a rock not to see why your Indiana Ford stores the place. In car racing, the name Unser means proven performance. It's a name that's been on the winner's stand more than any other. Talent that gets better with each generation. Not unlike Bicep, a name that's been number one in weed control for over 20 years. And now, looks like it will be for 20 more. Introducing stronger, longer, better. Bicep 2 Magnum. Proven performance, the next generation. Day 12, India. Hustling tennis shoes around the world was getting old, so I sat in with a group of wandering Hindu minstrels. Of course, I told them about Spies' Nikes for $39.98. But then we got down to something more serious. Indiana, Indiana, we're all for you. Are you? Suddenly, 
The keyboard player yelled Purdue. He was a Purdue fan and pretty serious about it too. It takes all kinds to make a world. Back in Notre Dame where Indiana holds on. We're going to take a look. You can see Jared Odell trying to sneak around Fife, not able to, but a good job of diving after the ball. Indiana going to end up with a good three-point look, and Luke Recker is going to bury it. Not exactly the way probably Coach Knight had it set up in practice, but uh, I'm sure he'll take it. Odell again comes in the ball game and gives Indiana left. A couple good shots he had, too, that just rimmed out. He scored 29 points a game as a junior, so he can score. He's not really called on a lot to do that here yet in early in his Indiana career. Washington, or that's Gladness open inside. Rector found it. That, that time Indiana did a nice job of screen. Gladness stepped back to the basketball. Fife able to find him for the little jump hook. Indiana now by four. As a screener, once you screen the screen the man, then you've got to see read the defense, step to the balls. Gladness did right there. Tough shot right there. He must be well guarded. Flanagan with the rebound. And lays it in. Flanagan really has a nose for the balls. A couple times he hasn't had the best position, but he ends up with the basketball. Good rebounders. We mentioned in their last game against Southern Utah, he was the leading rebound for Notre Dame. Should be able to take Carroll. That's a tough shot there. Wrecker off balance, and Notre Dame comes away with it. And pressure by Gladness in the backcourt. Murphy's got it inside and misses on the dunk. Murphy again lays it in and foul. He's a tough kid battling inside and gave a chance for a three-point play. One place Indiana has been hurt all year is on the offensive boards. Take a look at it. He gets a good look right here. I thought they'd call a foul on Odell. Looked like he hacked him pretty good right there. Another hack. No call. Look at Murphy. Big, strong hands. Comes up with it. Able to finish. And he get a look at the three-point play. Gives Notre Dame the lead by one. Indiana has really struggled on the on the boards this year. The defensive board, they really had problems. The other team just really killing them on the offensive boards as uh, Notre Dame is getting a number of second shots here tonight. Points in the paint. Indiana's had to go outside for their scoring since early in the game. Turnover again. Notre Dame has it. Okay, the possession arrow is towards Indiana, but because Notre Dame is on defense. They get the defensive turnover right there. This is William Glad is putting a tremendous amount of pressure anytime one of their big men tries to handle the basketball. Double team on Carroll. That leaves someone open. Good recovery. Murphy is going to look to score basically every time he touches the basketball. Carroll the shot off. And again, Murphy on the board. Notre Dame by three, minute and a half to go, first half. Notre Dame's biggest lead. Right in the corner, comes back out. And the steal, Inglesby tips it out of bounds. Almost got it, Indiana's real tight offensively. Early on in the game, A.J. Guyton was able to cut along the baseline. Indiana was had a really nice spread. Everybody positioned well out on the floor. He got very tight to the lane, not a lot of room to, to cut inside. Ten seconds to shoot. And the foul, it's going to go on five, trying to set the pick. Indiana personal. It's two on Dane five as he talks Number to Jody Sylvester five. about it. His he saw his feet were the planted. Team. They were Ten. not, according to Sylvester, and that puts Carroll at the free throw line. At the line for the Irish, Dennis Carroll shooting two. It's a two-shot foul. Indiana with ten 
team fouls. Larry Richardson checks in for Gladys. And he's going to find somebody to keep Murphy off the board. They get a body. More importantly, uh, the best way to keep him off the board is to get a body on him. Once the ball goes up on the on the glass, Indiana kind of turned following the ball. Somebody's got to get a body on him right away. And that rebound tipped out of bounds. Carroll misses both free throws. has gotten a little sloppy here in the last 10 minutes. Right. It was we almost had him picked. Five tried to cross that over right in front of his nose. Notre Dame personal number 24. Finally picks Eagle up baby. the foul. That means five will be at the free throw line. line. Indiana still shooting the one and one, not quite into the two yet. Michael Lewis is going to come in for Dane Five. At the line for Indiana, Dane Five shooting one and the bonus. Five good on that free throw. He's got six points, averaging just two and a half a game. Only played 42 minutes in now. He scored one point. That's not very good production right there. If you play 42 minutes, you need to be scoring more than one point. And he's gotten a lot of playing time here in the first half, now up to seven points. And he's done a much better job here tonight. He's looked to the basket. Lewis comes in to replace him. Indiana trailing by one. Drive on the baseline this time by Rainey. There he is. Again with the rebound. Same guy. Goes for the basketball. Always in the right place at the right time. Not a real big guy, but he's powerful. Richardson inside. Takes it to the hoop. And he's called on the hook on that drive. That foul on Richardson. Take a look at the hook. It slapped there pretty good. You can see, I don't know that he really hooked him. He kind of fell off balance more than anything. Reentering for the Irish number 21, Jimmy Dillon. Usually you use that play when you're posting down low. You hook somebody trying to get to the basket. Looks like he just fell off balance. Shot clock and game clock only about a second off. Notre Dame can hold. They decide to drive it in, though. Swanigan was fouled before the shot. And Notre Dame will be at the line. Number 33, Larry Richardson. His second. Second in a row for Richardson. See, Notre Dame can basically get the ball inside against Indiana at, at the any line, time. Irish, Harold Swanigan, shooting two. Coach is saying it's no shot, but they're already in the with 10 team fouls. It's two shots. And the make by Swanigan. Number 43, Sky Owens. And 15. Owens all back in the lineup. Indiana needs to get get a good look here in the last 20 seconds. Regroup. Came out. Offense move. Had a lot of patience, got a lot of layups to start the basketball game. The last 10 minutes has been a real struggle for their offense. Seven seconds, back on top with Carroll, and he was called on carrying the ball. That's a cheap call. On the dribble. That's a real cheap call right there. I mean, he can, he can, he, he can make that call against anybody at any time. 12 turnovers Number for three, Indiana. Troy Murphy. Notre Dame with a chance to score before the horns. 5.8 seconds left. Trying to set up a play. Inglesby has it on top. It's just off, but a good first half for Notre Dame. Indiana tries to regroup at the half as they go in, trailing 36-31. Always tough for Indiana play here at Notre Dame. No different tonight. You're watching Big Ten basketball from ESPN of Notre Dame that has really hurt Indiana. Good aggressive rebound by Notre Dame, but watch Indiana, how they turn their heads, look at the ball, and nobody puts a body on anybody. Everybody's looking up at the ball, but nobody's turning their head and finding a body. Indiana's not as big. Not as strong as Notre Dame, and if you continue to just turn and watch the ball rather than turning, finding your man, putting a butt on him, and getting him out of there, Indiana's going to continue to have problems on the, uh, the offensive board.
Luke Recker, the leading scorer for Indiana. Luke Recker still, he's still moving a little gingerly out there. He is, uh, after he took that charge, he, uh, doesn't look like he's had the same quickness. You can see he's still, looks like he's in a little bit of pain right there. Lewis, Guy, Madness, Recker, and Washington for Indiana. 20 minutes left here from Notre Dame. And I would think that you'll see these five players, as long as they're able to play, unless one of them gets in foul trouble, I think that Coach Knight's going to probably go with these five. Gladness needs help on top. Wrecker has it. Blows right by Hickey, but the block by Murphy. Murphy, big, strong kid. Angles big, big, big hit that. That's a big one. He hits the first three of this second half, and the Notre Dame lead is eight. It's big because Indiana got exactly what they were looking for. Drive all the way to the basket. Indiana not finishing it. Graves knocks that out of bounds. Rutgers does not look well out there. He is not moving with the quickness he was moving with earlier. Here's Kite in the lane. Gladness moves on Hickey. And the rebound to Graves. Really looking for shots from William Gladness. They'd like him to get the ball inside. There's a good hands by Indiana because Murphy was open. Hickey not able to, to deliver the pass inside. Gladness tipped that ball away. Indiana's got to get their patience back, both offensively and defensively. Playing, playing the passing lanes, playing positions. Almost be a fire again off. This is where Guyton needs to take it and really move it up the floor. See, he doesn't really race it up the floor. He's going to end up getting the shot. He buries it. Three, four, twenty-five. Really like to see AJ when he comes up with that loose ball off the rebound or a turnover. Really, you know, race the ball up the floor. Really make that defense turn around and play. It does cut the lead to five. This guy just pulled up for that three on the break. Good pressure by Michael Lewis. Offensive forward. Oh, you can try to block him out, but if you let him get that deep inside on you, there's just no way. You've got to start working on him before they get you all the way under the basket. Washington. Tough shot off balance. And Wrecker fights for it, and Graves knocks it out of bounds. See, Indiana's trying to go go one-on-one -on -one with Murphy. They're trying to uh, get Washington the ball. Take a look. You see Hickey's just way in deep right here. Does nothing but hold his position. He's a lot bigger. Has about 50 pounds on William Gladness. He's going to win that battle each and every time. Knighton again for three. And Washington over the back is called for the foul. It's three now on Lynn Washington. Indiana common call number 44, Lynn Washington. Rob Knight on the Indiana bench the contemplates his next half. move. John McLeod stands most of the game. For Notre Dame, you just got to continue to bring the ball down and make sure that your inside people get touches. Good defense by Indiana prevents the layup. Graves with the shot. Hickey with the rebound, stripped away by Gladys and a foul. And a technical foul is called on William Gladys. That's a big play right there, friend. Yeah, it looked like a clean strip by William Gladys. Indiana is going to lose the turnover. His second. The Take a look second. at it. You can see Indiana fighting for the basketball. Hickey's going to come up with it. And Gladness just kind of goes down. Also a technical foul. Looked like he got all balls. He came up and asked why. He unintentionally kind of bumped foul. into the referee. And because also of it, they the called a the tech. Third. It's Notre Dame by seven. You're watching Big Ten basketball from ESPN Plus. Right up and made the first technical, an 87% free throw shooter. So it's an eight-point Notre Dame lead. Here's the second technical. 
And that one good. Notre Dame retains possession. They would have had it on the foul anyway. That Gladness committed. Gladness stays in the game. And a down nine. Not three minutes gone. Only about two and a half minutes gone here in the second half. And Notre Dame has come out firing. Notre Dame's biggest lead in the first half was five. And that was at the end of the half. And now their biggest lead in the game is nine. So they've come out ready. White is off. Blocked out that time by Wrecker. That rebound hits the floor. It's amazing when you get a body on somebody, what happens? You can see that time the ball dropped all the way to the floor. Indiana able to come up with it. Wrecker in the lane. Guyton, little jumper. Just off. And Hickey the board. Shot that they're looking for. Got to hit that one. For Notre Dame, you've got to get the ball in Murphy's hands. He's made good things happen every time he's touched it. He's going to step in and get it right there. Juan Gladness, shot, shot, good. Exactly what, what Notre Dame's got to do each and every time. He can pretty much get position at will against Indiana down on the block. All he has to do is step in. Indiana gives up that post position very easily. Guyton in the lane hits that free throw Guyton line jumper. Lewis. See, A.J. Guyton kind of come alive right here. To have that intensity throughout the 40 minutes of a basketball game. Right now with 11. Shot off by Notre Dame. Hickey rebounds. Laying is off. And Washington comes away with it. Notre Dame with a lot of good looks that time down the floor. Ladd is to the hoop, falling away. And Murphy comes away with it. Not the shot Coach Knight's looking for right there. He likes Gladness taking Hickey to the basket, but he's got to continue on one more dribble rather than pick it up and fall away. Hickey spins to the hoop. Gladness pulls it down. See, Guyton still doesn't race the ball up the floor. Nearly stolen. That leaves Wrecker open. And three-pointer from the baseline. That's a big one. Indiana still down six. Signs of life for Indiana. 15 points now for Luke Recker, and McLeod needs a timeout. As Indiana has come roaring back, they were down 11 just a second ago. Now the lead is six for Notre Dame. This 20-second timeout is brought to you by Finish Line. Scoring by half, you can see Indiana's opponent pretty evenly scoring in the first and the second half. But look at Indiana, much stronger in the second half than the first. They'll need that today to win this ball game. I'm sure that John McLeod's over there talking, telling his team, let's be patient, let's continue to work it around. He's gonna put Murphy down inside on the block. He'll have Hickey screening for him, and he's want, wanting his guards to get that ball in Murphy's hand each and every time down the floor. At least give him a look. Hey, this game's gonna be pretty easy to figure out. If Notre Dame continues to rebound like they are, Indiana will not be able to stay in this game. Here goes Murphy right down on the block. Good job by Odell positioning himself. Odell for Gladness. White's a backdoor cut. And the easy layup. Right there, Jared Odell gets caught up on, on Murphy, but there's really nothing he can do. I mean, he's trying to position and, and not let Murphy have the position. And because of it, he gets caught up on top. The guard has to know that and has to play nose up, straight up. And foul on Inglesby. Take a look at it. Good defense by Odell. If Odell doesn't get up there, they feed him from the top. Hickey just feeds the ball right down inside. He goes up over the top. There's no help behind. Lewis goes down. Graves going to get his fourth foul. And that big... Of the two freshmen, he's not the one that has given Indiana the biggest problem, even though he's coming off a 29-point performance against Southern Utah. You're going to see him slide over the pick. Right there, good position That's by about Lewis. the second time he's got called for that same play right there. Now Guy trying to get Indiana back in this See game. See how tight it is on the lane, though. Indiana, the only thing Indiana's coming up with is just jump shots from the outside. There's no room available for Indiana to drive the basketball to the basket. High low, Murphy was set up for that pass. And Washington.
Washington's going to draw the foul. Indiana's having a very difficult time with Murphy down low, although Indiana the officials are letting him pretty much move Indiana Washington. around. Now, I mean, now take a look at Washington's got the position right here. Murphy's trying to get it away from. Now, to me, it looks like both players are pretty much holding and pushing about the same. The officials need to just let, let them play. Rebound to Lewis, and that's four fouls now on Luton Washington. He's one of the few guys that's been able to get a body on Murphy and keep him out of that post. Michael Lewis has yet to even look for a shot here tonight. He's made a number of good passes to Guyton along the baseline, but if you're out there, you've got to also look for your shot. Pass stolen. 13 turnovers for Indiana. Big screen by Hickey right up on the point. Michael Lewis ran into it. Nordink taking its time now. They need to do, take their time each and every time down the floor. Tough pass that gets into Murphy. No basket on the floor, they're gonna call it. Notre Dame will have it out of bounds. Notre Dame with a lot of success penetrating the defense, able to dish the ball, dump it inside. Indiana foul number 43, Jerry Portal. Portal. His second, the team's fifth. Gonna get good penetration from Weiss. Good hands right the there. You see Jared Odom just grabbing him right there. Indiana really fortunate that the official called that. Otherwise, it's an easy two points for Notre Dame. Weiss on the drive. Down low, Hickey. And Lewis, another rebound. Better block out by Indiana that time. See if Indiana can spread it a little bit, get into the middle just a little bit better. That time, a little better look for A.J. Guyton. Right at the free throw line. Guyton hits another jumper. Take a look at next time Indiana's on offense. The big guys come down. They're very tight to the lane. They'd be, be better off to, to get much wider and give A.J. Guyton some room in there. John's going to watch on the drive. That shot clock by the big guy. Steal by Lewis. Takes it all the way in. White's right, not a very good play by the senior. White, a senior, can't make that mistake. Fell asleep. Michael Lewis picked his pocket and got the two easy points. And Indiana down only four. Take a look at Steelers for Indiana. Murphy a spin and a layup. An offensive foul. Call the basket off. Luke Recker. Draws that one. Murphy doesn't agree. Murphy doesn't agree, but he's lucky that he didn't get called for travel before he runs over it. Take a look at his feet. You can see both feet are way off the floor, moving right there. Excellent job by Indiana to take the charge right there. And Recker in good position. Ball had not left Murphy's hand before that foul both. was committed. See how tight Indiana is to the lane. is kicked out of bounds by Notre Dame. Only a kick when you intentionally kick it. It just hits the player's foot unintentionally. It's not a kick, as you can see the officials did not call the kick that time. Or they would have reset the shot clock. It stayed at 16. Record of the hoop. Tough shot is off. You see, that's about the third time he's taken an off-balance shot. It hasn't even come close for Indiana. Murphy low, this time on Odell. Jump hook is off. Mason has it. The guy really needs to push it, put some pressure on the defense before they get set. He's got to be careful on that one on one move. The official already got him for rolling the ball over once. And a hold inside, this time on Murphy. So Indiana will retain possession. They still trail it by four. You're watching Big Ten basketball from ESPN Plus. Just under 12 minutes left and an upset. Penn State defeats Temple by one at Penn State. UConn looks like they'll hold on to their number one ranking. Syracuse points easily. Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac. Is who? Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac. Wapicon. Oh, oh. I thought it said they were playing. Wapicon, Quinnipack, or Swayze, uh, or Bennett Switch, something like that. Somewhere around there. Let's see what Indiana can do in the final 12 minutes. Rebounding is short up here a little bit. In the last four or five minutes, Indiana has 
been prevented from those easy second shots. Notre Dame very good getting back on the post when Indiana tries to feed the ball. Indiana's got to come up with that ball, fire it back out, and have a three-point opportunity once you get it inside. Ball tipped. Haston comes down with it. 15 to shoot. Odell. It's a good shot, though. Ball tipped by five. Let's see. That's a hold. 22. I think they're going to call it on Carroll. I don't know if Fife was trying to get the ball, and, and uh, the referee felt like Carroll had a hold of Fife's jersey. Coach Knight was telling Fife to, to grab the basketball. And Drake, the lead over Iowa in a battle in that state. Indiana's had trouble getting the ball inbounds all night. Right now being guarded by White, a little quicker. And a little bigger as well. White's at 6'5. That's short. And Murphy the board. See Murphy goes up strong. Both hands, gets his hands on that basketball. Still a lot of time left in the basketball game. 11 minutes. Deflected by Ole, stolen by Fife. Guyton into the layup. Steal by Indiana. Good knock away. Ole just but tipped Jared it Odell. enough to uh, allow a teammate to come up with that steal, and the lead is two now for Notre Dame. Set play, White on the alley oop. See if Guy races it up the floor. You can see he just kind of moves at his own pace right there, rather than really moving it up the floor. He sees Lewis in the corner, and that's a three-pointer. Wow. Indiana with the lead. It's unbelievable. What a comeback by the Hoosiers. John McClellan's lead. What's a timeout? A 20-second timeout is called by McLeod. And suddenly, Indiana has the lead. You had just mentioned a second ago. Still a lot of time left in this game. And less than a minute goes by, and Indiana's got the lead. Notre Dame really had the play set up that they wanted to. They come out, they, they, they've, got, they've got the back screen. You can see right here, good hands by Odell. Just getting a hand on it. Didn't need to reach around, even get a foul right there. Just got a hand on it. A.J. Guyton with the easy layup. Take a look. Good penetration by Guyton. Michael Lewis, as I said earlier, hadn't even looked at the basketball. The first time he did, he found three. Indiana's got the lead for the first time since the three-minute mark in the first half. They led 29 to 27. Now they lead it by one. Great comeback by Indiana. Swanigan inside has not seen second half action. Quick move inside, lays it up. He's got some excellent feet inside right there. Really a nice job, nice drop step into the lane. Gathered himself, went up extremely strong. Wow, good move inside. You don't see many guys anymore that can move down in the post. 6'8 freshman, Swanigan will be around for a long time. Game five, Lewis coming off that three. It's six, five sees it. There's Guyton. That's the guy you want with it. Just short. Swanning in the board. Here he is again at the other end. Oh, man. Just There's ran right. right over five. They're going to call the charge. John McLeod not happy with the call. Gets the dirty look from the referee as if to say, sit down. See Dane Fife. Ooh, ooh, I think he's a little late. I can see why John McLeod's yelling at that one. He's still moving. Still moving right there. Indiana got a break. And Fife took a knock right on the knee there. Seems to be okay. Indiana doing a better job of giving some room for AJ Guyton to move. Haston. Everyone he's shot tonight's just been a little bit long. Hasn't had the touch we've seen him had all, have all year. Drive by Carroll tried to dish and tipped out by Indiana. Indiana doing a better job of getting back on defense. That's 
twice Notre Dame has beat Indiana down the floor. Need a time they come up with a basket. 21, Jimmy Dillon back in for Notre Dame. Carroll comes out. Jimmy Dillon's a guy that can shoot the ball if you give him the chance. Inside. Oh, great pass. Great pass. Monaghan. That's the layup and was fouled. Little no look pass down inside. He looked to the wing, fired it right down inside. The game looked at, he can't see it. You can see his head turned right there, but he looked, he faked everybody out, including Kirk Hastings. A foul on Hastings. He comes out, Gladness is back in. He's got some great young players, two of them there, Swanigan and Murphy. Both freshmen. Graves is a freshman. Inglesby's a sophomore. Murphy's gotten all the ink, but I'm very impressed with Swanigan as far as getting in there. He's strong. He rebounds. Good footwork inside. Really a, a good player. Five straight points by the Irish, and they've got a four-point lead. struggles when Guyton's out of there. Fife on the baseline. Gladness loses control. Inglesby tips it before going out of bounds. That was shot clock at one. And they don't beat the shot clock. Sure didn't. Looked up and when I saw it. There was no change of possession right there. Michael Lewis looks to Jody Sylvester says no change of possession. The ball was just slapped by Dillon according to the officials. And he did not possess the ball. I think that's I think that's a good call. He never really did come up with it. All, all he does, it's right here in front of me. All he does is slap it. There's no way you can call that possession. Michael Lewis comes up with it. Indiana gets the shot clock violation. Heads up play by Dillon as he saves that ball before going out of bounds. Notre Dame by four. The Irish chant comes up from the student section. Dylan, not a real quick guy, but he's one of those guys that can really hurt you if you give him the opportunity. Anglesby in the lane hits the runner. Anglesby! Indiana fought back to take a one-point lead. They look up, now they're down six. Notre Dame, good job of fighting back. Wrecker, and that three-pointer hits the net. Four, four, Big shot three, by Wrecker. Back and forth. 18 points for Wrecker. He's set for a while in the second half. But now is when Indiana needs it. Seven and a half minutes left. White and five outside. Lewis reflects the ball out of bounds. It's going to be close all the way right now. Notre Dame by three. You're watching Big Ten basketball from ESPN. Down three after gaining a one-point lead. Six of 13 for the record from the field. A lot pass to Murphy on the set play. Took advantage of that 6 10 frame of his. They took advantage of the timeout. Got them two points. Excellent play by John McLeod, Indiana. Amazing, amazing the shots that he can come up with when Indiana needs buckets. 17 now for Guyton. Wrecker and Guyton leading Indiana in this comeback. Tipped away. Gladys has it. He stops his dribble. And goes to five. Yeah, continue to take Jimmy Dill. Over to Wrecker. Gladness inside. Oh, good move by William Gladness. Nice drop step. The same type of play that Swanigan has been putting on Notre Indiana down on the other end. Gladness did everything, made the, the move, just did seven. not quite finish. At the line for Indiana, William Gladness shooting two. So Gladness will be at the line. That's 17 fouls for Notre Dame. Indiana will have the one and one. Only six free throws shot by Indiana so far in tonight's game. It's a 
Notre Dame pretty much controlling things inside. Last, last take a look at the inbounds play by Notre Dame. Really don't get a chance to see much other than Troy Murphy going to go up. Uh, he can definitely get up above the rim. Dillon set a little pick just enough also to number give five. Murphy a half a step Hickey. on Odell. Bill Hickey comes back in. So Murphy and Hickey, two uh, guys with some pretty good size in there for the Irish. Biden sits one of two. Indiana trails by two. 6.15 left. Murphy inside. That foul on over. He does a great job of setting up in that lane and calling for the ball. You've got to meet him about the top of the key to the free throw line, and you've got to start banging on him. You, you can't just wait in the low post because he's going to come right down there, meet you, and just spin right on you. Jared Odell that time waiting on the block. Shooting one and. That's three fouls now on Odell, four on Washington. Atlas has three fouls. So Indiana's big men picking up the fouls and a good day for Troy Murphy. Troy Murphy's got a. You know, he, every time he touches the ball, he's looking to score. And you wonder why a guy like A.J. Guyton, I know I pound on that point a lot, but you wonder why a guy like A.J. Guyton doesn't have that same type of look towards the game as far as you know, trying to score each and every time down the floor if the defense is going to allow it. You can see Notre Dame went to a 2-3 zone. Leaves five open and a big Fair. shot. Dame five, Three, top four, of the key. 11. Indiana did a very good job of recognizing the zone. They played against a very good Syracuse team that threw a zone on them. Did not did not play very well against Syracuse on the zone. Is third the team team. Bob Knight calls five over. Jimmy Dillon agrees with that shooting ball. They bump them. They're going to call a foul, and that's what happened there. Makes that free throw. It's only four or six for the year, but it's a good shooter. In and out, you jinxed him on that one. Over with the rebound. Notre Dame leaves two. Surprised Notre Dame went to the zone. You can see they jumped right back into the man to man after having no success the one time down the floor. Mike gets help from Guyton. Officials are going to get Dillon here in a second. He's got his hands on, on Guyton. Real hand right front, right there. He almost had that one the line. Four to shoot. Wrecker at the horn. It's off. Never got a good hold of that shot. But he knew he had to get it up quick. He knew exactly how much time was on there. I'm afraid if he would have come down with it, came down with it the way he needed to, Drive by Gray. Travel. Took an extra step. Just slid that, that pivot foot just enough on the baseline. Returning for the Irish, number and four. Tony White's Tony back in. White. Dylan is out. Just under five minutes left. Indiana down by two. Who wants it the most? At five minutes, we'll find out. Indiana winning the turnover battle. Coach Knight's talked about an attitude his team needs to, to get. Type of attitude to show up. Wrecker low. 34. Wow. He's gone. They're going to they're gonna call it on Graves, and that's five. Graves can't believe it. He just put his hand straight up in the air. Even though it looked like Hickey, look, looked like Hickey is the guy that really comes over and whacks him. Good cut by Wrecker right there. Good cut to the basketball. Good dribble. Gathers himself. Goes up. You can see Hickey comes over. Definitely fouls him. They, they officials saying Graves got up underneath him. Graves has been a good player for Notre Dame, but not really the problem for Indiana here tonight. Troy, seven points for Graves. And they were early. I think he hit the hit a three-pointer to start the game and hit the next basket. So he had five the first five points of the game. So uh, since then it's been the Troy Murphy show. Dylan comes right back in. Returning for the Irish number 21. Jimmy by the record to get open. He cut across that baseline. Called for the ball. 
with recognition by Dane Fife to get the ball inside when he did break open. You're only open for a second on that cut. You have to get the ball when you're open. Hey, Luke Rucker has, has made the first free throw. That's the third time tonight. Let's see if he can finish it off, make both of them tie this game up for Indiana. He does, hits both. A little better concentration on that one. Tied at 59. Where are they going, Laz? They're going inside of the big guy. Yes, they are. Gladness on him. Indiana better get a body on those people inside because it's coming down low. Holden and Gladness are switching now on Hickey and Murphy inside. Dylan on the drive. White Good for pressure. three. Good pressure by Luke Recker. Flew at the shooter. Good, good positioning by Indiana to get some pressure. Good ball movement by Notre Dame. Indiana, Jared Odell needs to get inside, set a screen for A.J. Guyton. Nobody's looking to screen Guyton. He's the guy you want with the ball. Wrecker is posting up on Dylan. Dylan comes in at 6'1", 171. Wrecker at 6'6", 200. So Luke knows he's got the advantage. He's trying to take, take a look at it inside. Comes up the edge of the lane here. The see Dylan's got a hold of him. Luke Recker, shooting one at the box. Indiana still not with two team fouls. Or, I mean, two, with ten team fouls at Notre Dame, so Indiana's still shooting the one and one. The Recker hits his third in a row. I don't think the Notre Dame radio guy sitting next to, to us agreed with that call. What do you think, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he just gave us the old evil eye. Oh, Jack boy. Laurie at the Notre Dame Radio <laughs> Network. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Calling on the Irish. Notre Dame had the advantage early in the second half, and Indiana came storming back, led by Luke Recker and A.J. Guyton. And it is a two-point Indiana lead, 347 left. These are the kind of games, uh, Ted, I think college players love to play. It's going to come right down the last three and a half minutes. And who wants the most? We'll soon find out. Jared Ola really trying to fight Murphy down inside. And the foul called on Odo as Wrecker gives him some Indiana defensive pointers. Take a three, look at Odo trying to get around. I, I, you know, there's no doubt about that Odell's definitely leaning on him right there, but there's no doubt Troy about Murphy. it that Detroit Murphy's doing a little clearing out. Usually the offensive player is going to get that call. I understand that. Nobody cleared out any better than I did when I used to post up down inside. But uh, but Odell did have Murphy moving out a lot farther than he, what he has been getting. Yeah, out. a lot farther away from the basket, but he, ended, he ends up 15 feet away shooting free throws. They lose a guy like Garrity who goes to the pros and pick up a kid like Murphy. So Notre Dame uh, replaces Garrity with a top notch player. They could get some guys to go around. He and Swanigan, they'd have uh, themselves a pretty good basketball team. Tied up at 61. Wrecker working on White inside. Dillon now on A.J. Guyton. Five to the hoop and lays it in. Good. Big play by Dane Five. Taking the ball. He had the advantage over Inglesby. Indiana by two. The thing here is you, you want to keep Notre Dame from swinging it. See, as soon as they swing it, now they can get it inside. Or they get the position for the rebound. Five comes away with it. Looks up the court, and Recker waves him off. Let's slow it down. Indiana got to by be two. careful not to get a foul inside. You want to handle the basketball, get yourself a good shot. White back record. out, get a screen. Shot clock at 12. That's short. Record three pointer off. Gladness foul by Murphy. Good foul by Troy Murphy. There's no way you want Gladness getting that ball up on the board. Make him earn those. Only a freshman, but that's a heads up play right there. Good pass inside by Luke Record. Take a look at it. The ball's going to come out. Fife's going to get the ball and he's going to tip it out to Wrecker. 
Wrecker is going to miss the three. Fife's going to tip it out. Goes to Wrecker. Good pass. Bang. Right there. That's when you, if you're an Indiana fan, you'd like to see Gladness go up and under the basket and lay that one in. But a good play by Troy Murphy. It saved him one, one point. Carroll comes in for Dillon. One more shot for Gladness. Hits the second. That's a big one. Three-point lead for Indiana. Two and a half minutes left. Indiana, once they get the ball on one side of the floor, they really want to keep it there because when Notre Dame reverses it, that's when they're able to get it either into Swanigan or down inside to Troy Murphy. Record tipped it away. Good hands by Record. He's got to be careful. White will try three. Got it again. White into the lane that layup off. Tipped away this time to fight. Gladness not able to get much of it, but he able to get enough of it. And a block. As and you can see, Coach Knight over there going, my goodness, pull that ball back out. We don't want to charge him foul at this point in time. Five got the ball over to Odell. And it would have been a tough shot for Jared on the move. Notre Dame with the foul. He's a tough enough catch. They so aren't trying to catch and shoot it. But Odo will have two from the line. I really don't know that there's a, a big foul there. I, I, I thought the officials would just let it go. A lot of adrenaline flowing right now. You see that was just a little long. Let's see if he makes the adjustment here on the second shot. Now Jimmy Dillon back in for Carroll. So they're trying to get him in on the offensive end. Carroll a little bit bigger whenever he's on the defensive end. Jimmy Dillon, a guy that can penetrate dish or he can shoot the three. See, he oh, yeah, misses, misses that one. Misses both of them. Gotta make those in a big game like this. Ingles be a three way out off, but Dillon comes away with it. Offensive rebound hurt the Hoosiers there. A minute and a half left inside. Swanigan. Good White. pressure. They'll, they'll give and him all three. Wow. Eleven. That's five. And a three-point behind the three-point line. Three Indiana free throw. Personal number eleven. Dane Fife. His fourth. The team's this is Coach Knight talking to Dane Five. Dane Fife saying, well, you know, I didn't touch him, but you can't get caught in that situation. Giving the referee the opportunity to call it. You touch him, and there's a chance, and Weiss has a chance to tie the game with two more free throws. Weiss hits the second, cuts the lead to one. Michael Lewis comes in for Odell. Very small lineup, but a good ball handling lineup. Indiana will try to spread them out on the offensive end, get, use as much time, use back cuts, try to get to the basket. And then if a, if there's a timeout or a dead ball, substitute back in for some size. You can see Notre Dame doing that exact thing. Big free throws by White. He hits all three to tie the score. See John McLeod brings in Carroll, leaves Dillon in this time with Indiana with the smaller lineup. He also brings in his smaller lineup. Everyone on their feet. Big possession for Indiana. Gladys working inside. 15 to shoot. Guyton and White on top, 10 seconds to shoot. Indiana's taking it all the way down. There's not a lot going on yet. Michael Lewis on the drive and a foul. Good play by Michael Lewis. Very, very heads up play. Inglers be not able to turn the corner, and Michael Lewis just leans in, gets the foul. And Lewis will be at the line. Michael Lewis shooting two. Indiana. Again, for number 42, Carol Swanigan. 
Coach Knight going to get Jared Odell, try to get him back in the game. Michael Lewis makes this free throw. And Lewis hits. Odo, a bigger body inside, try to rebound. Big shot for Lewis, Indiana by one, 54 seconds left. Those coaches playing the offense and defensive game here. Big yeah. possession for Notre Dame right here. Crowd again comes to its feet. Open in the corner is White, and that ball off the foot. It's a call to kick that time as Odo moved his foot out, so a new 35 second clock. Seven seconds difference now between the game clock and the shot clock. Look for, look for Notre Dame to try to run the same out of bounds play that got Murphy a dunk. They don't, come in to don't swing go with again. it that time. Want to keep the ball in Swanigan's hands? He's not the guy you want handling. We're going to take time a timeout. Out. And talk yep. about it. Notre Dame wants to figure out the play they want to run right here. You are watching Big Ten basketball from ESPN Plus. I won Notre Dame ball. Time now to announce our power play of the game brought to you by Synergy PSI, where energy comes to life. Troy Murphy, the freshman from Notre Dame, 19 points, 14 rebounds, and it was quite a force in this game tonight. You know, when I think about a power player, I think about the guy getting it down, getting it done down on the blocks, and Troy Murphy has definitely been that guy tonight. Indiana has not really had an answer for the big freshman inside. Big possession for Notre Dame. Now, they, every time the Notre Dame's come out of a timeout, they've had some type of setup play. Look for it to happen again. Pass comes high, nearly stolen by Fife. Notre Dame's got some players that can shoot the basketball in there. They've got. Darrell has it. Weich has it. Quick Not shot. Not over with the board. Not the and shot the Notre Dame was looking for. Good play by Inglesby, though. He knows Jared Odell just walked up there and missed two just a second ago. As soon as he gets Notre the rebound, he goes up and slaps him. He comes right over to top to Odell, as Fife does. Very surprised that Notre Dame took a timeout, and that's the shot that they ended up with. Weish, a lot of pressure on him. Didn't Murphy not even touching the basketball. Got to get him a touchdown inside. Shooting two. Hole at the line. I, I think he'll make these. He'll make the adjustments. He showed me a lot of determination. Uh, he played well out in Maui. He stepped up there. I think he'll step up there and hit, hit this one also. His first point of the game. One for three now from the line. Yep. Long on that one. one. It's only a two point game. Three wins it. And John McLeod wants another timeout. See, was there a foul? The official, a timeout. the official said timeout. The player never called timeout, but the, the official anticipated because McLeod was up and yelling that he was going to call timeout. Notre Dame got a timeout. And this year the head coaches can call timeout. The official saw it, so that timeout was granted. Maybe before a foul was committed by Indiana. I think that's what the official was waiting to see. Well, I think Luke Brecker was anticipating that he was going to call timeout. You know how a player will run up on a guy when he, when he thinks he's going to call timeout. He ran up on him, and Dillon did call timeout. Oh. Take right. a look at it. You can see Jimmy Dillon. He yeah. never calls timeout, but you can see you can see McLeod calling timeout. So it's a good good call. You can see the official saw McLeod wanting a timeout right there before the foul was committed. So 11 seconds to go, Indiana up by two, Notre Dame ball. Three-pointer wins it, the two cents to overtime. Indiana lost in overtime in 94 by one. And then two years ago, Indiana won by one point as Patterson in a big shot toward the end of the game. Well, we talked before the game, what type of game would Notre Dame like to be involved in? We, we said probably a game in the 60s or 70s, and you look up and it's 66-64. So this has been the type of Notre, Notre, or game that Notre Dame likes. The other night they played Duke and it ended up 111-82. They didn't like that pace. There's Murphy, Troy Murphy. He's been Notre Dame's go-to guy. There you see the full and the 30s left for Indiana. Inbounds to Swanigan. Inglesby behind the line. Dillon in the lane. His layup is good. That ties it. High score. Five has it. Here's A.J. Guyton. Nope. It is off. 
half, and we go to overtime. 66 apiece for the second time in the last three meetings here. Indiana and Notre Dame go to five-minute overtime. Coach Knight came out looking at A.J. Guyton. Like you just can't let him drive all the way down the lane, but uh, Jimmy Dillon has done that before for Notre Dame. He's a guy that he can make things happen in there on the, on the offensive end. Take a look at it. He's going to get inside. Indiana kind of backs off because every time he's gotten up in the air, he's passed the ball. This time there's nobody to pass to except the basket, and he finishes. Big basket for Notre Dame. Glad this makes a good play, though. Watch how he stays with Murphy. Which you have to in that situation. You've got to stay with Murphy. He's killed you all night. And no foul there either by Odell. And Dylan just makes a tough shot, which is what you need to force your opponent into in that close type situation. 66 all. Five minutes left in overtime. Big lift for Notre Dame. It was came down to one possession. And they didn't get to go to their go-to guy. They're very pleased to be in this situation. Well, also, also remember, Indiana had a number of free throws that they were not able to convert. I mean, big free throws down the down the stretch win basketball games. And another big point in the last four minutes of that regulation, Wrecker and Guyton were held scoreless, so they can Indiana count on their other players to score. Just a point short. Gladness and Murphy will jump as we start the overtime. Indiana's got it. Fife, Odell, Gladness, Wrecker, and A.J. Guyton. Wrecker opens with a three. And that's the soft roll. Murphy wanted to just wipe that thing right off of the rim and it fell back in. And that sets the Notre Dame fans down. Big start for Indiana. It's not surprising that Luke Recker is the man that knocks that three down. Indiana's going to have to get on the board right here. Gladness came around for the steal. Picked up the foul. Coach Knight talking about personal number not only really help from around, but you got to help from the middle it's down. Four. He knows that that's where they're going, down into Murphy. Four now on Gladness, so he and Odell both with four in the At game. The line Murphy four, Notre Dame. Line. Troy Murphy shooting two. Murphy's been very good at the line. Seven of nine tonight. Those two early misses were very early in the game. That's that one. Six nine, 225. He's a big boy. 16 and a half a game. He's got 20 tonight. They go with 15 rebounds. It's a both a one point game. Rector still working inside on White. Indiana wants timeout. 20. Set that offense up as each possession becomes crucial now. Put Michael Lewis in the lineup. Coach Knight obviously sees something he doesn't like there. He wants to make a change. Lewis with seven assists in tonight's game. So that's why he's in there. He can also step up and hit the three-pointer. He saw earlier. And he made a big play. That drive to the hoop as the shot clock was coming down to draw the foul. It came big for Indiana to get this game to overtime. Very heads up. 6-1 junior from Jasper. See a very small lineup in there for Indiana. But one that can score. Fife will check in. Swanigan or Murphy is going to have to guard a much smaller player, and it ends up being Swanigan on Luke Record. I would think Indiana would want to get Swanigan out on the floor. Shot clock down to 10. Gladness inside, goes up on Murphy, and Dunn picks up the foul. Looks like all ball right there. You can see Indiana. They're going to get Troy Murphy out here one-on-one -on -one with William Gladness, goes inside. You can see he gets pretty much all ball. The, the only problem there is he takes such a big swing. See, Gladness got the ball. So now he only gets one shot. 
Williams. Indiana left the lane. Indiana was in the lane and then left. Once the official gives the ball to the shooter, you cannot leave the lane. Wrecker left the lane, and that cost Indiana a free throw. Gladness hits his only chance and the two-point lead for Indiana. I think what was happening is Michael Lewis was over talking to Coach Knight. There was nobody back, so Luke Wrecker decided, I better get back, and he didn't look up, and the official already handed him the ball. Good, good call by the official. Murphy gets the ball down inside near Indiana. Oh, that's not a very good shot. He buries it. It's a good one now. Pull up jump shot, and he hits. He's sporting a new hair cut here tonight. He's got the butch cut going. It's a kick by Inglesby. Inglesby. Five now for Dillon. And they've all been big. Tied up at 70. Carroll comes back, back in. The actress, my up number is 22, Dennis Carroll. Better matchup now with Carroll on record. Yeah. Good, good sub by John McLeod right there. Look, look to see if Indiana tries to get Murphy on a one-on-one -on -one situation again. Lewis needs to bring it in and does finally to Wrecker. Wrecker into the lane. Wow. Fall away jump shot over Carroll. Tough shot for Luke Wrecker and he hits it. 27 for Luke Wrecker. Big night, a lot of big baskets. Indiana by two. Carroll's gonna have to step up and shoot that shot. Indiana's gonna play back down inside. White in the lane, comes back out. Oh, tough shot. Hit it, Wrecker with good pressure. Falling away. Two in a row now, Notre Dame's hit two tough shots to keep this score tied. Two and a half left. Gladness on Murphy. Takes him in. That jump hook goes down. William Gladness. Well, whoever has the ball last probably going to win. The way it looks right now with 2.15 to go. And the record goes down. Murphy. Now to Carroll. And the three-pointer off. Record comes away with it. Bumps into Lewis. Indiana hitting the boards. Tougher now. Lots of time left. Two minutes. Long pass. Lewis, Guyton open in the corner. Oh, he's got to take that. Passed up with open three-pointer. Plenty of time on the shot clock. There is plenty of time, but he's the guy you'd like to see taking that shot. Gladness, bounce pass to five. Wrecker a three. He'll take it. And Indiana gets the rebound, tipped away by Notre Dame. Still a minute 30 left, so Notre Dame definitely going to get the ball back. A lot of possessions left in this basketball game. And that foul on Carroll. Wrecker trying to get inside position. If you're guarding Wrecker at this point in the game, you've got to understand he's a smart player, and he's going to do everything he can to get to that free throw line. If you're leaning on him, he's going to, he's going to use you the best way he can, as he did right there in Dennis Carroll. Take a look at it. You can see Carroll, not a bad position, just leaning on him. The official's behind him. He's going to make the call. There's not much there. And he continues to struggle with the free throw. Returning for Notre Dame, number 42, Harold Swanigan. Indiana, 60% on the night from the line. Murphy with the rebound. Still a two-point Indiana lead. Free throws has a lot to do with your legs. You got to get your legs involved. The game again looks a little tired. Might be the trip back from Maui. No, oh, it's been a tough game. White tries three, misses everything, but the ball bounced off Wrecker. That's a good play by Swanigan and Wrecker. Both are hustling for the basketball. Swanigan just able to get his hand on it and knock it off a of Wrecker. New shot clock. For Notre Dame. And Bob Knight did not agree with that, but it, it goes. I think he didn't agree because the ball never hit the rim and the shot clock should not have been rewound. I think that's what he's yelling about. Murphy, the bank shot off, tipped by 
by Swanigan, but Notre Dame will get the possession. You can see Coach Knight, he's talking to the official right there, and he's telling the ball never hit the rim. Swanigan hits it off record. The shot clock should not have been rewound. You can see Jody Sylvester giving Notre Dame the ball right there as Indiana knocks it out of bounds. Indiana leads it by two, 45 seconds left. And Notre Dame will have the ball underneath their own basket. So they need a score, but Indiana will still get another possession and a chance to score once again itself. Plenty of time left. Look for Notre Dame to set up that out of bounds play. Indiana's definitely got to recognize when they come out on the floor. If Murphy starts moving around, you've got to make him catch the ball out on the floor. If he starts moving to the basket, you've just you've got to get a body in front of him. Last time he's able to move to the basket, they throw it up and he throws it through. So uh, we'll see if Notre Dame tries to set up a play here on the out of bounds play. Indiana's done a nice job on Murphy here recently. This is unstoppable there for the mid part of the game. Hasn't really scored a field goal in about the last 10 minutes that we've played, but uh, even, maybe even more. He's scored six points from the free throw line. He had two opportunities right there to get the ball with a two point lead, not able to come up with it. Let's see if the third time is a charm for Notre Dame. Indiana goes with Gladness Wrecker, five Lewis, and AJ Guyton. Definitely some type of play set up right here. You can see Notre Dame sets up. Gladness looking for help on Wrecker. See Wrecker way back down inside. They're going to make Swanigan catch it outside. If he wants the 15 footer, they'll probably give it to him. Wrecker into help, as is Guyton and Lewis. Gladness needs to get a body between the basket and Murphy and make him go to the corner to catch the basketball. It's the same play. See, Indiana did a much better job that time defending that, that out of bounds play. Gillen's feeling it. He wants to go one on one. Tries to take Lewis. Inglesby on the drive. And tough shot just off. Dane Fife comes away with it on the dribble and a foul. But Dane Fife is only a freshman, but he and Michael Lewis got tied up in the basketball. He threw Michael Lewis off of the basketball. He didn't know who it was, but he just knew. I'm going to get the basketball. Lewis Good play by a, Dane Fife. Uh, Lewis took it right on the nose. He'll take it on the nose. Michael Lewis, a tough kid. You can see. Good play by Inglesby. Goes up and under the basket. Almost gets it to fall. Now watch both players get their hands on it. Watch Fife just rips it away from him. It's a good play. See if Dane Fife can knock the free throws down. He's had trouble from the line. He'll shoot two. That one rattles around and out. Take one here. It would force Notre Dame into a three-point shot. Still plenty of time if they did not want to take the three-pointer to take it to the basket. Foul Indiana again. He, he got one. Second. Indiana by three. The shot clock is off. Notre Dame needs three to tie. Dillon into the lane, no call. Five five the rebound. Gladness gets back to five. That just dribble it back out. That's a smart play right there. Michael yeah. Lewis is your best free throw shooter. That's he and AJ Guyton. That's who they want the ball in their hands. Indiana's made the defensive plays late in the game when they've had to. Indiana did a nice job positioning themselves. Dillon takes a tough shot, but who comes up with the rebound once again for Indiana? Dane Fife. Two big rebounds in a row for five. And one big free throw. He missed the first one, but he came back and knocked the second Returning one in. And that's a big one because then the team has to look for three. And at the line for the Hoosiers. Indiana needs one, at least one right here to make it a two possession game. Indiana 14 of 25 for the line tonight. That's short. Lewis comes up short. There's no legs. Now at 54%. For the night from the free throw line. See Jimmy Dillon talking to him. Michael Lewis pointed to him. He got that one. And Lewis 
Hits Look at Mike. Dylan. <laughs> Dylan gets a slap on the behind from Lewis. But he was talking to Michael Lewis right there as Michael was trying to shoot. And after he made it, he kind of slapped him on the backside. But there you go. That's competition right there. Indiana, a four point lead. That is what it's all about. 10 seconds to go. Jimmy Dillon doing a nice job. He's made some big shots for Notre Dame in there tonight. That's a big free throw right there for Indiana. There's another game, Ted, where we've seen Indiana struggle at times. Looks like things are going bleak, but then they come back. And uh, now a four point lead with 10 seconds to go. Let's take a look at our key play of the game, sponsored by Key Bank. Help at every turn. What have you chosen for me, Laz? Well, the score's tied. Who have a go to now this is the key, key, key play. Key, key play bank of play, of the key play of the game. I'm going to record. All right, let's see. You were right about the oh, jump shot. Man. Nothing but net. Woo. Luke record with our play of the game. 27 for Rucker. He's been 5 of 10 from three-point line, only 6 of 10 from the free throw line. But he's the guy that will step up at any time, at any point in the game, and say, guys, I'll take that shot. I love, love guys that will stand up and be willing to take the shot. Why Michael Jordan is so great is because he's the guy that always wants that last shot of the game. Full court pressure by Indiana to get, make Notre Dame take a little more time off that clock. We don't want the foul here. Rainey all the way in, off, tipped. Guy has it. And he races to the other end. The final horn sounds. Indiana has won it. 76 72 in overtime. The coaches congratulate each other, and Notre Dame leaves a little stunned. They thought they had a chance to win this one. Good game by Luke Recker. He finishes 27 points, three rebounds. They invite you to watch our next game on ESPN Plus December 11th. Indiana takes on the Broncos of Boise State in the first round of the Indiana Classic. The game gets underway at 6 o'clock on ESPN. For Ted Kitchell, John Laskowski, good night from South Bend.